I want to make and do right at your fingertips. I'm Stephen. I'm Fern. And today we've got some brilliant autumn ideas for you to get making. Whatever the weather. So let's have a look at what's on its way. Go leave mad and make some great autumn paper to wrap these fantastic frosty pens. In Food Fingertips, we'll show you how to make a tasty red hot autumn bonfire. And in Fun Fingertips, we'll show you a cracking new game in the shape of a giant conquer. For all the details on today's makes, you can video the show and watch it back later. Look on our website or grab a pen and paper right now and jot it down. Now that autumn's here, what does it make you think of? Leaves. And? Uh, more leaves. Uh, anything else? Uh, just leaves, actually. Um, but it's a good job. With all those leaves conveniently on the ground, you can get your fingertips on exactly what you need to make this awesome autumn paper. It looks great hanging up at a window with a light shining through. And it's perfect for wrapping presents for anyone with an autumn birthday. So take a leaf out of our book and start collecting some leaves. Then sort through them and get some good shaped ones. Now, while Stephen's looking for leaves, I'm going to start on the paper. Firstly, lay down a bin liner and on top of that, put a sheet of tissue paper. Then get some PVA glue and water and just spread a layer over the whole sheet. I'm going to demonstrate with a small section there for you. And then, leaves please, Stevie. Stephen. Oh, oh, leaves. Thank you. Yes, put a nice little scattering of leaves all over the glue until you've covered the whole sheet of paper. Then on top of that, put another sheet of tissue paper and spread another layer of PVA glue and water over the top, making sure there are no dry patches left and no air bubbles. Now, it doesn't look very good now, but believe me, it is going to look wicked. And then leave it to dry. Now, while you are waiting for your paper to dry, and if you're going to use it as wrapping paper, then you could spend this time to actually make one of our very own Fingertips Autumn Pens. Check these out. These are frosted ballpoints, and they look so cool, don't they? And they're so easy to make. All you need to get is some PVA glue, obviously a boring old ballpoint, and some very nice glitter, and then you're ready to go. Now, you may remember that we made some beaded ballpoints before, and here's a quick reminder of how to do it. Just coat your ballpoint in some PVA glue. Just whack it on there from top to bottom. There we are. And it doesn't have to be neat because it's going to be covered in your glitter. So just roll it in whatever you're going to use. We're obviously using this frosted stuff. And when you pick it up, look, the whole thing is then covered. Give it a little tap and stick it in some modelling clay to dry. Cover your pen in a couple more layers of glitter and one more layer of glue to keep the whole thing in place. And if you're going to give this away as a present, how about making a couple more and place them inside a box, which makes it a lot easier to wrap up. So when your present's ready and your paper's dry, it's time to get wrapping. And look at that, how brilliant. Just the right sort of present for an autumn birthday. Or hang it in the window and just let the light shine through. So if you're fancy having a go at making the pen or the paper, then check out the Fingertips website. We'll give you the address at the end of today's show. And start gathering leaves to make that awesome autumn paper. It's so easy, it's beyond belief. <laughs> beyond belief. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, there's nothing like a nice warming bonfire on a chilly autumn night. Oi! Mm. Oh, tasty. Thanks. Not you. This is Food Fingertips, a part of the program where we show you something that's fun to make and great to taste. And today, we're making red-hot autumn bonfires. Creamy mounds of mashed potato, savoury twigs and surprise bangers in the middle. They're delicious. So if you want to warm your insides with a tasty treat, you need to get hold of some mashed potato. Now, you could make the packet stuff, just follow the instructions, but we think the homemade stuff is a lot tastier. Now, get the plate that you're going to serve it on, and we've actually made our own by leaf printing in nice autumn colours around the rim of a paper plate. It looks good, doesn't it? And then you need to get hold of a bit of tin foil that goes in the middle, and this is where your red-hot autumn bonfire is going to sit. Now start by adding a nice dollop of mashed potato into the centre of your plate and then this is where your bonfire surprise comes in. It's little bangers and so pop them 
on top. And then you want to spoon some more mashed potato over the top to cover up your bangers. And then you can start shaping it into a bonfire shape. Just using your fork, just shape it into a kind of triangular pyramid like that. Now, to make your red hot autumn bonfire look even more realistic, get yourself some savoury twigs and start building them around the edge of the mashed potato. This is where it really starts to look like a bonfire, isn't it, as well? Uh -huh. And if you want your bonfire to look really warm, how about adding some hot and spicy salsa? Go on. Here goes. Give it a little drizzle on top. Go on, wax some more Very on. Very nice. On. Look at that. And a sprinkle of red Leicester cheese. Looks like real flickering flames. Wow. How cool is that? So there you have it. Why don't you give it a go and make one for yourself? Or even, why don't you make one for your mates? And see if they're cool enough to handle the fingertips red hot autumn bonfire. <laughs> what else is great about autumn? Conkers! Go on, Stevie, give it your best shot. Okay, you ready for this? Watch this. Windmill! Not bad, not bad. <laughs> not bad, hello. I was Minehead champion for three years on the trot. There's not a conker I can't crack. Not even this one. Yep, this is Fun Fingertips, the part of the program where we show you something that's fun to make and fun to do. And this game of Cracker Conker is brilliant. Just like a piñata, the idea of the game is to crack open the giant conker taking turns using real conkers. Whoever manages to get it open has first pick of the goodies inside. Now, if you want to make cracker conker, then you could make a balloon paper mache version or get your fingertips on one of these. It's a polystyrene ball and you can get them in most craft shops and they don't cost a lot. Um, they come in all different sizes and when they get to this size, they are hollow, which is pretty cool. It is because you can fill them with loads of goodies. But before you do that, you need to put it back together again and then using a cocktail stick, you just want to poke two small holes in it, one either side of the join. So one there and one just there. And then it's time to paint your polystyrene ball. Now, if you have a look at a real conker, you see there's a lighter brown bit on top there. So if you paint this section where the holes are a pale brown colour and the rest of it a dark brown colour, you'll get a really realistic conker. How cool does that look? Now, we've added a layer of PVA glue around the dark brown area just to make it more realistic. And now what you want to do is get a hold of a piece of string and your cocktail stick. Break off one end, that way it's not sharp, and this will help you thread your string through your conker. Now, you want to go from the inside out, so lay the string over the hole and just push it through with your cocktail stick. There we go. Just pull that through there. And you want to do the same on the other side. So again, lay the string over the hole from the inside out. Push it through. There we are. And now, put your conker back together again. And you want to make the two bits of string the same length and just tie them together, just above your conker, like that. And then tie them together at the top. And this will allow you to hang your conker up, just like that. And now it's time for the best bit to add the goodies. Yeah, here we go, right, let's open it up. Let's go, should we go streamers first? Yeah. Streamers first, in they go. And some sweets. And uh, we've got to have some toys as well. Toys go in, so let's put loads of those in. There we are. And some more sweets. Ah, uh, yes, and you like those sweets, don't you, huh? Go on then, keep putting them in. That should do, that'll do, that'll do. That's it, off! Uh, then what you do is you put your, your cracker conker back together again and there's no need for any sticky tape or anything like that. Look, just hold itself together like magic. Now, if you'd like to make a cracker conker, then why don't you check out the Fingertips website. As always, we shall give you the address at the end of today's show and you can also find out on our website all the other makes from today's programme. And if you hang on conker in open space, you're ready to play, Stephen. Conkers at the ready. Age before beauty, Stephen. Age before beauty. So go and get cracking and make your very own fingertips crack a conker. Yes! Yes! <laughs> and next time on Fingertips, we'll show you how to make a brilliant snow shaker that will make an excellent present for someone. In Food Fingertips, find out how to make some bite-sized mini Christmas punts. 
and we'll give you the know-how to make the fun fingertips pucker mistletoe. It's a portable snog machine. That's it for today. Now, if you want details of how to make anything from today's show, then why don't you check out our website? The address is on the screen now. And we'll see you again very soon for some more things to make and do right, right at your, your fingertips. fingertips. See, see ya. Bye-bye.